I'd like to introduce Morgan. I've just seen him. This is not organised. He's just rocked up in the crowd. Would you like to come and have a few words, Morgan? Please welcome Morgan. I've been here. There's no money here for you to make. That's okay. Let's just let him speak. No, that's fine. That's okay. How are you going? I'm going to break off. Come on, guys. Come on. I'm working all the time on the calls. I'm working all the time. Make us look bad, please. You guys want to hear me speak? Yeah. Yeah. Should these people leave me alone and just give me some space? The Ladies and gentlemen, do we need more or less division in our country? Do we need amendments to our constitution that further divides our people along the lines of race? Do we agree that referendums should be reserved for issues that are designed to unite our country and not divide our country? Now, I think that it's been very apparent for a long time that there's a lot of division in our country and we can all agree that it most definitely needs to stop. COVID-19 demonstrated a tremendous amount of division, of course, along the lines of who seeks to be on board with the government directions, who does not. We see tremendous division along the lines of gender, race, and I dare say that this referendum will be yet again another nail in the coffin in relation to breaking down what should be a beautiful, united Australia. And when we think about what is not in the interests of an ever-growing and larger government, what is it? It's a people who are not united. As the saying goes, united we stand and divided we fall. So my message out there to all Australians is that we need to stand up, we need to be bold. The last thing we want is to be getting into conflicts with our fellow Australians over who has more rights than somebody else based on nothing more than something arbitrary such as where somebody's lineage may lie. And so many questions in relation to that as well, isn't there, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, we're living in a crazy era where anybody can identify as anything and we see the emergence of a society that could very well fall into two tiers or beyond. So my very, very firm message is we must reject the Anthony Albanese government. We must reject... Who's that guy again, the Premier of Victoria? What's his name? I can't remember. Yes, I know that he was able to be re-elected. No, no. Is this fair? Is this fair? Move on. No. Alright, so Daniel Andrews. Daniel Andrews was able to be re-elected. But let me tell you something. Keep in mind, hold in, your, hold in your heart that every dog has his day, everything turns around. In the end, evil, good will always defeat evil. Daniel Andrews will fall, he will be moved out of the way. And in the end, we need to remember that this country, it belongs to you, it belongs to your children, it belongs to future generations. It does not belong to those to the likes of Dan Andrews and Albanese. This country belongs to who? Who does this country belong to? Does the future belong to our children, yes or no? Are we ever going to allow powers greater than, say, anyone on the street to dictate how we live or what we do? Are we going to finally, in the end, sack Dan Andrews in 2026? Are we going to replace the useless opposition leader by the name of John Pesuto? Ladies and gentlemen, this is this is insane. I can't believe this. This is just this is just savagery. All right.
Wait. No, I don't think so. Anyway, this is a, this is actually good. This is quite challenging. So my final message for each and every one of you here today is you need to ignore the negative forces, ignore people that are trying to bring you down, be who you are, stand on the side of freedom, never give up on the future of our country because Australia is the greatest country in the world and never ever can we allow them to divide who we are. God bless you, God bless our country and long live Australia. Thank you, thank you. Yep, there is division. There are things that have happened in our movement. I hope that we can stop the divide by stop calling, yeah, call things out, but stop the divide. Just because a lot of us come here every week doesn't mean we own these steps. You all own the steps. And he may be a scammer, he may be a scammer, but we have freedom to speak in our country, don't we?